Okay, it's been a while. Welcome back. My name is Milk and Sony just announced FX30 cinema camera. It's everything great about FX3 but in APS-C sensor size. Easiest decision ever. So let me tell you why I think what I'm thinking by first let me tell you about my background. I've been a micro format user for almost 10 years now. I am shooting with Panasonic Lumix GH5 right now. Deep down, I've always always wanted to move to Sony due to the famous autofocus capabilities. But the GH5 I already own is already a video beast. It shoots 422 10-bit and 4K60. While if I were to move to a Sony camera with a similar price right now, I'll probably get like Sony A7C, which only has one card slot, doesn't shoot in 10 bit, and there's no 4K60. Well, the one that shoots 4K60 is A7IV, but that's with 1.1 crop, which is almost nothing, but the price is much higher. While I can do 4K60 with no crop and with awesome iBit with my GS5. Another reason why I haven't moved away from microphone is this lens right here. Panasonic Lumix 10-25 f1.7. I've made a review on this lens and it's super awesome. This lens is the reason why I haven't moved away from microphone. I got myself in a dilemma. And another reason I want to move into Sony system is it's a much better low light video camera due to sensor size and autofocus capabilities. And when I go on set now, I work a lot with people who own Sony cameras. So I want to get a Sony B cam maybe to color match them easier. Now, here are the problems. First, the price to enter the full frame system is high. The body, the lens, that's a smaller camera with lower price now because it's been out for a while, the Sony A7C. But as I said, it's not really a professional camera because there's only one card slot and it doesn't shoot in 10 bit either and no 4K 60. So what is Sony's solution? Sony's solution is to release an obtainable, a more obtainable cinema line camera FX30 which has everything great about FX3 almost the exact same form factor but only with a smaller APS-C sensor size. The great thing about FX30 is it is rig ready it has holes, you can buy an optional XLR microphone adapter, top handle, awesome awesome autofocus, and it shoots 4K in 120 frames per second. In 422 10-bit, another cool thing is the lens system. It accepts E-mount lens from Sony that has full-frame lenses to APS-C lenses. This will be really great for people who already own Sony glasses and they don't even need to buy a new smaller APS-C lens for this camera but if you're starting out with this camera then you have the option to buy only APS-C lenses which cost a lot less than full frame lenses or you can just buy full frame lenses from the get-go and grow your system that way it has new cool tech from Sony A74 like focus breathing compensation when using with Sony lenses and don't let the sensor size fool you Super 35 APS-C is a standard for cinema camera. The Red Komodo has Super 35 sensor. And there are a lot of Super 35 lenses out in the market right now. Vintage one, new one, because it has been a standard in cinema camera. So you don't have to buy a new, new full frame or Super 35 lens. You can just go out and buy a secondhand one from eBay. Some compromises, in 4K 120, there's about 1.5 crop additional from the APS-C sensor. So it's gonna be like almost a micro photo field of view now with the same lens the noise that could be smaller is now bigger because you crop in more and obviously it's not as good as fx3 in low light due to the smaller sensor but I trust Sony's technology it should be totally fine my hope for the future of fx30 is I want to get the firmware in the future where they give us waveform exposure support and shutter angle because that is crucial for me in shooting video and what's my plan for now 
My plan is to slowly transition myself into the Sony system. So I'm thinking of buying a B cam, probably an A7C right now, to be my personal camera and as well as a B cam when I work. Because B cam, I only need one cut slot, I don't need two. I need two cut slots on the A cam. After I've got some work done with A7C, I might spend the money to get either A7 IV or FX30 to be my main A cam for work and keep the A7C as my B cam. So that's how I plan to get into the Sony system. And then I'll probably sell my GH5 and I hate to say this, but this lens as well. Panasonic Leica 10 to 25 f1.7. I don't want to sell this guy. The image quality is so good. Check my review. So who is the FX30 for? I think it'd be really awesome for content creator, maybe on YouTube, because they can get all the good things from the FX3. All the menus, functions, 4K, 60, 4K, 120, 422, 10-bit. It's probably an overkill for YouTube, but anyway. And of course, it's going to be great for pro videographer too. You have all these options and you have the body that is also accessory ready with XLR mic input. You can color match with a vast majority of people. Speaking from my experience, I work with a lot of Sony shooters. So, and then again, don't let the Super 35 sensor fool you. It's more capable than you think. You know, Sony, they don't play around. You can trust them to deliver good products. <laughs> okay, anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, like this video and don't forget to subscribe too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.